that transition that you just saw is actually really easy to do. There's so many things you can do with it and I definitely suggest you guys put your own spin on it. If you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I post filmmaking and editing tutorials every single Tuesday. If you guys wanna learn about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. All right, let's get right into it. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm gonna show you the two clips that we're gonna be working with today. So the first clip is just me opening up this door into my office. Uh, it's a pretty simple shot. And then the second clip is just going to be the drone shot that we are going to be transitioning into. So that's all that you really need for this tutorial. And yeah, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your first clip and you're gonna drag it up to V2. And now all you're gonna do is we're gonna look for the spot that we are going to mask out. So right here, when the door is cracked, we are going to start masking right there. So to mask, all you're gonna do is come to the left-hand side and under opacity and you're gonna click the pen tool. Now we are gonna go underneath where it says fit and we're gonna change that to 25% so we can see the screen a little bit better. So now we're just gonna create the mask. So all you're gonna to need to do is create a little square. So we're just gonna do that really quick. And once you complete it, you're gonna see that everything else turned black. So let's just make this the size of that door crack. And then uh, we're gonna come over to the left hand side and we're actually gonna change it to invert because we want the inside of the room to be masked out, not the outside. So once you're done with that, you're gonna come over to the left-hand side and you're gonna to wanna to turn on the mask path. Do not forget to turn this on because all the work you do will not be tracked without turning this on. So you're gonna click this little stopwatch and once you do that, you should see a keyframe pop up just like this. So to turn the mask back on, you're just gonna click the mask itself and you'll see the blue lines again. And these are the blue lines we're gonna be working with. So I'm gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through it. This is the time consuming part where you just have to take your time and make sure that you mask it out the best you can. I'm going pretty quick here because I just wanna show you guys how to actually do the mask itself. It's really simple, you just have to move a frame over, stretch it out a little bit, move a frame over, stretch it out a little bit. And then once you are complete with this, it's pretty much easy. Uh, the hard part is just masking this part out. It just takes forever. So I sped it up a little bit for you guys. So this is what the mask should look like uh, when it's tracked. I'm just playing through the clip and you can see the mask actually tracking to the clip. So now all you really have to do is take the drone shot or whatever shot that you're working with and drag it right underneath that masked clip. Now you can see that the mask is perfect and it is under there. You can see that there's a little bit of black because I didn't do such a perfect job. So to make that a little bit better, I'm gonna go under the mask itself and go under mask feather and I'm gonna raise that up to 30. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, you can still see a little black. Let's go up to 40. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you really have to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys learned something. Definitely put your own twist on this and take your time when you're masking. Uh, the more time you take on uh, masking, the better it will come out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. You guys can also help support the channel by going to the first link in the description. I just wanna say shout out to all the subscribers and I will see you guys next Tuesday. I am out.